you still want to do everything possible to ensure that you are still, you know, you're fighting this outbreak. So the lessons of Ebola came to bear and we have engaged influencers. We've engaged the religious community. We've engaged in community levels. We've set up little sort of leadership groups, um, which comprise of the Mami Queen, which is sort of the a community of female community influencer, a tribal leader, um, a youth group leader. So we've got these, these, um, these groups of 10 um, across our wards and then groups beneath them. And for the last almost 12 weeks now, we've had teams in the field going, you know, house to house, going to markets, going to lorry parks um, with these influencers at the community level. So within a community, within a ward, but then cross community as well. And it's the cross community level where the interreligious group was engaged, where the Ebola survivors as an organization was engaged because of their own experience. Um, but also importantly, the Slum Dwellers Association was engaged because 35% of our residents live in informal settlements. And when it comes to that question of trust, you want to ensure that you are reaching people who need to hear a message uh, and you're reaching them with those who they'll trust to deliver the message, but also who can nuance the message to what is real in your context.